guys, so my name is Tiffany and I just want to welcome you to my channel. Um, this video has been a long time coming. I have been doing YouTube for a couple years now and um, I don't know why I never did it about me or I just wasn't really taking it serious when I first started the channel. I was like, let's just post shit. <laughs> See how that goes. When I first started, I came with a purpose, okay? But you yeah, wouldn't be able to tell from the way that I would post my videos. Uh, I would post skits of things that I've been through and I was like, okay, well maybe this skit will help somebody else. So now we're just gonna regress. We're gonna bring it back in. We're gonna start new. We're gonna start fresh. And I wanna just have a personal connection with you guys. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions that you've been wanting to know for the past two years or if you just met me a couple months ago, what you wanted to know. Um, so some people ask really personal questions, other people ask just really random questions. In no particular order, I'm just going to answer the questions in the order that I receive the questions. So the first question is, what is something weird about you? Well, um, I really thought about this answer. I was just like, I'm just a weird person in general. Could that be the answer? What a lot of people don't know about me is that I... I don't want to say I've been an actress since first grade, but the first time I ever acted was in first grade. And ever since that moment of being in front of a lot of people, I was like, that's it, about my career, I'm gonna be an actress, I killed this. First grade, guys, I knew what I wanted to do. So uh, I had like a secret YouTube channel, Just Being Tiffany. I had Catherine Broadway where I was just singing. So. Uh, I've just always just been a really goofy person. So I just feel like a lot of things that I do is weird. <laughs> like I get told that all the time. I think it's normal. I can't even tell you what I think is weird about me because everyone else thinks it's weird. And I'm just like, you don't do that? <laughs> so yes, that's a really hard question to answer. Me, my personality. Um, why did you start YouTube and what inspires you? So here's the moment I'm gonna pull up a video. Sometimes I feel insecure. You know, like when I'm on social media, people say that my energy, it like brightens up their day, you know? And so that's why I started the YouTube channel. That's why I created the Oh Happy Day community on my Snapchat. And I told everybody to like, you know, just post everything, anything positive that happens within your day, just post it so we can all feel uplifted and we can all feel inspired. So I feel like that's what my purpose is. My purpose is to bring light and love and energy to so many people. So originally my journey started on Snapchat. I would just post like just quotes that really touched me that day or I would just post a video of me singing, being goofy or just, you know, just me loving life, just vlogging, I guess, my days. And a lot of people would laugh or they'll smile or they'll say that they really like my uh, energy. So then I was like, okay, well, let's, let's spread the love and start a Oh Happy Day group. So that's kind of why I started a YouTube channel. It says, what are your pet peeves? Once again, we're going to pull up a video. What really grinds my gears is when you ask someone for help. I hate asking people for help. You know what I mean? Like I'm Miss Independent Woman. But when you do and they act like you owe them something, it's just like, okay, so this didn't really take much of your time, your energy. It's like I asked you to pick up my bag of groceries. Now you're trying to go down my pants. You know what I mean? It's just like, don't do things for people if you feel like you own them after or they they have to give you what what you want because like do things from the kindness of your heart and don't feel like someone owes you something afterwards like it defeats the purpose because you're taking advantage of someone in a vulnerable situation and you know that they need you so you're like okay well let me pray on you that is not someone that we want to be with that is not someone maybe you're not even worried about that maybe you're like okay well I gotta shoot my shot <laughs> because I won't have any other shots. And maybe it's because you're that person. Maybe you should look in the mirror and figure out why you have to do these things in order to get what you want. It's not that fact that I'm selfish, it's just I really hate when people just expect more than what they give you or they just feel obligated to something. Another pet peeve that I have is just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really get annoyed by much. I guess it's just people who try to be something that they're not or they're just mean to other people. Like I don't really have a lot of pet peeves. Or people who don't listen to you, they pretend like they're listening but you can look through their eyes and be like, you're not hearing me are you? Next question. 
Why did you choose dental hygiene as a major? That's a really good question. The reason why I chose dental hygiene as my major is because when growing up, I grew up in a family that was poor. And so a lot of people in my family would have like, as kids, like uh, silver fillings, just silver teeth everywhere, ate candy all the time. Like relatives, their gums would bleed when they would brush their teeth and I'd be like, oh my God, you're ble are you okay? And they'd be like, no, that's normal, that's fine. And I, I just grew up thinking like, all this was okay, this is normal. And like, it wasn't heavy that we should brush our teeth in the morning, night, flossing. We didn't even have floss, you know, like just certain things. Like I just did not know because it wasn't modeled for me growing up. So when I was in school and, you know, I learned how to brush my teeth, honestly, <laughs> through school, you know, through programs like that. But the way that I got into dental hygiene is in high school, we had a thing called a magnet program. So you got to choose what you basically wanted to do when you grow up. So there was a banking program, nursing program, dental hygiene program. And I just felt like just sitting in that class, I learned so much in dental hygiene. Any other you know, like magnet program. I felt like I didn't learn anything. I didn't really care, but just because like my background and I just so much I did not know about, you know, self care, you know, even in high school, so much to learn, like people who have white tongues, that means they have bad breath and that's just bacteria sitting on their tongues. Like she asked us questions like, should you eat chocolate or uh, Skittles? Like which one's worse for your teeth? Like she made it fun for me and it was just like, I think this is for me. So that's how I kind of got interested in dental hygiene. I just felt like I was learning more about something that you need to learn about. Just some, your breath. Who doesn't like to have good smelling breath and nice looking teeth? So uh, yeah, it was just really interesting. Also, another fun fact, like one of my friends, like her, her mouth kind of looked like a horse, not to be mean, but that's because people suck their thumb, you know, for so long. Even in high school, she would suck her thumb and her mouth would, you know, so it was just very like just interesting. I was like, there's just so much to learn. <laughs> so yes, that's how I got into dental hygiene. So what was the most challenging thing for you in the program? So the most challenging thing for me in the program was basically, you know, wanting to keep going. It was my mindset, you know, just staying motivated. Um, there was so many times that I wanted to quit. There was so many times like, I don't even think that I can do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was just like, I didn't understand that learning glands were so hard. It was just minor little small things where it was just like, I need to find the drive to keep going, like what got me here. And so I'm gonna make a video soon uh, more about just dental hygiene in general. So we're gonna push those questions to the side. Next question, are you ready for a relationship? Uh, I think I am, like before, I haven't been in very many relationships. My most serious one lasted five years and <laughs> well, you gotta take the deep breath. All right, so my longest relationship was five years and the reason why I think it didn't work out is because I didn't have any idea of who I wanted to be with. I was just looking at, oh, he's in a fret. That means he knows a lot of people. That means parties. Like I'm in college. I'm like trying to have fun and meet people. So I wasn't looking at his character. I wasn't looking at is he, you know, kind to other people. Is he an honest person? So now I know what I'm looking for in a relationship. And I also did a lot of self work and a lot of self healing in two years. So I think it's about time for a relationship. And I will see. I feel like you don't know until you try but it has to be the right relationship. I've been in relationships where, you know, they just take up all your time. They really don't care what you're doing. You know, that ain't gonna work for me. And I've been in relationships, well, not even relationships. I've been in, you know, don't wanna say dating, <laughs> dating ships. I've been in dating ships where, you know, the dude comes over, he studies with me for 10 hours straight and quizzes me massages my feet babe you're just so smart like study it took this long but what you made me like five minutes like you made me feel so amazing where it's just like I, I kind of believe that I'm smart at this point you know so I think the right relationship would would yes yes I'm ready for a relationship if you had one thing for the rest of your life music transportation or your phone which would it be and why 
um, it would be music hands down. Uh, I suffered with depression in high school. Bullying sucks, don't do it. Uh, and what really got me through it was music. Like people who have been through the same things that I've been through and just uplifted me. Like I feel like I can feel the spirit. There's so much soul in singing and so much energy in music that I don't even care if I had a phone or just like whatever else it asks. Music is everything. It's also how I get into state. And if you don't know what state is, that just means like you're in a better mood. Like in the right state, you might uh, be a whole different type of person. And that's how I get into my state. I listen to music and I dance. What inspires you? And what inspires me is just helping another person, helping other people. It really motivates me to get up in the morning. Or I wouldn't be able to do all this for you guys. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be able to find 20 quotes a day and post them. Like, I'm actually looking for me. And if it touches my heart, I'm like, well, here you go, guys. I'll share this with you, too. You know what I mean? All right, so the random question. 100K guarantee or a 50-50 chance at $1 million? So, um, easy, I would take that 100K over a 50-50 chance of $1 million. I think I can turn that 100K into $1 million plus some, you know? Um, I think with that money, I'm able to do so much more. You can't do anything with nothing, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm a guaranteed person. And that is all the questions you guys had for me. Um, if you have any more, you can leave them down in the comments down below. If you want a part two of the About Me video, just let me know and I'll make it for you guys. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. And I really hope that you subscribe and like this video and like any other video that I do because that gives me like a sense of, okay, Tiffany, keep making these videos. You know what I mean? Like I need to know what you guys want me to produce, you know? So thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Once again, I am Tiffany and I hope you guys are having an amazing day.